Hello artists, now that your crystals are all drawn, we're going to use an analogous color scheme to add some value to it. Analogous colors are colors that are right next door to each other on the color wheel, and when they blend together, they usually make something good, like something called intermediate colors. So for example, if we have red and orange, when those two colors blend together, they make red-orange. It's a color that looks nice. And we're trying to show value inside each little segment on your crystals. So we're coloring inside the little sections you created. So if you wanted, you could make it so maybe this one is just the red. You fade it out so it's super light. And then the one next door is orange. And also fade it out until it gets super light. We're not trying to make it look like stripes on a sweater. We want there to be something called gradation. It's going to go from dark to light inside each little section that you have. And I'm going dark to light, dark to light inside each section. When I got down here, I did the opposite. This was red, so down here I used orange. And you're trying to alternate. So right now this is orange, so I'm going to make this one red. I'm easing up pressure and getting lighter and lighter as I go. And the one right next to it is orange. And here there's another crystal, so I'm trying to make it darker. So it's got this little shadow. And repeat for all of your crystals. In areas like this where you see there's both colors touching this crystal, just pick one. Pick whichever one you want to start with and that's what we're going to roll with. Just make sure your darks stay consistent. So I started dark on the left. That means every segment that I do is going to be dark on the left. Plus a little bit of additional darkness if it touches another crystal. If you have two light colors that are beside each other and you think you need a little more contrast, that's where you can work in your other analogous color and kind of blend it in. So now I can see the shadow on this crystal a little better. If you are one of my students that's working on a single crystal, you have a lot less sections to color, so I expect a little more effort on the coloring. So you can use crayon or color pencil, it's because you have bigger sections, but you're going to pick two or three analogous colors and you're going to put both inside each section. So you want to stay consistent with what goes where. Like I'm going to make the right side and the bottom be blue and that's going to start dark. And then I will slowly ease up pressure. Make sure you're going all the way to the line. Don't stop short. And then same thing over here. Dark and then I'm trying to curve it a little bit and slowly ease up pressure. Then I can hit it with the other color. Go dark on the opposite end kind of a right angle, kind of. And same thing, start out dark and then slowly ease up pressure and let the two colors kind of mix in the middle where it gets really, really light. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. So I started out right side and bottom was blue. And I would continue that all the way around keep that consistent. Just turn it as you go and then you won't get confused about what needs to go on what side. I've got the outside complete. Now if we look at the inside, all this is surrounded by purple. So that means I'm going to put blue all the way around and fade it out and then I'll put some purple in the center. A 
Another option for the center is you could take, like I have the blue all the way around, I could take the blue and then fade it out and then just have kind of a lighter spot that's white in the middle of the page.